Your lesson essential question is how can you use an open number line to help you add two-digit numbers? So we're going to be adding today to find a sum. You know the sum is the answer to an addition problem. And the strategy we're using is an open number line. You know that a number line is a line that shows numbers in order from least to greatest. An open number line doesn't have any numbers on it. You write the numbers on the open number line that you need. So you're only writing the numbers that you need. And it's a good way to visually add and see your, your steps for adding the two digit numbers. So I'm going to show you how to use it in two different ways. All right, so we have 48 plus 23. These are our open number lines. So you can see so far, we don't have any numbers on them. We have to decide what numbers we want to put on our open number line. So we're starting with 48. You can see that 48 is our first add end. So the first number I'll put on my number line is 48. I see that I'm adding 23 to 48. Now I can break my 23 up into two tens and then three ones. We're going to start with our tens. And we're going to add our two tens, 10, 20. So we'll just make two big jumps for our tens. So 48 plus 10 20. So we talked about how when we add 10, the tens place goes up by 1. So 4 becomes 5 and that ones place will stay the same. So 48 plus 10 is 58. And then we add 10 more. So five goes up by one, it becomes six. And then the ones place stays the same. So we've added our two tens. Now we're going to add our three ones. So 68. 69, 70, 71. And these are just our three ones that we're adding. So this is an open number line because we're only writing the numbers that we need. We're not putting every single number in between. We're not counting by fives, we're not counting by tens on the number line. We're only using the numbers that we need. All right, another way, we'll still start with 48. So the first way, we broke up our tens place into tens. This way, we're going to use our jump the whole tens place all at once. So we're going to add two tens all at once. Two tens is 20, so 48. We're going to jump 20. So we're going up two numbers in our tens place. So 4 plus 2 is 6, and our ones place stays the same. Now I know that I have three ones that I need to jump. I'm looking at 68 and I see that I need two more ones to get to the next 10. So I'm gonna add those two ones. That gets me to my next tens group, which is 70. But I need to add three ones. I've only added two, so I've got one more left. And that brings me to 71. So both ways I get the same answer. I just 
did it a little differently in my brain. So this way I just broke up my tens, broke up my ones, and then this way I jumped all of my tens at once. Then I made a ten, and then I jumped the rest of my ones. So it's up to you the way your brain works, which way you'd like to do it. You're going to be practicing this strategy today in your workbook, and then you'll be logging on to Savas and doing your quick check.